Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install matplotlib package in your Visual Studio Code editor to run a matplotlib related script on your Visual Studio Code on your Mac operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So as you can see, I have this uh, Visual Studio Code editor opened and I have opened this sample folder in Visual Studio Code. It doesn't contain any Python script yet. So let's create a Python script. I'm going to click on this new file button and then I'm going to name my script as test.py. And in this test.py, I'm going to uh, just paste a very simple matplotlib script. And uh, you can see it shows me this error which says import matplotlib pyplot could not be resolved. And this error is shown because we haven't installed the matplotlib package yet. So to install the matplotlib package, just click on terminal and then click on new terminal. And then before installing matplotlib package, we are going to create a virtual env so that when we install the matplotlib package, it's only installed inside our project and not globally on my Mac operating system. To create a virtual env, type this command, which is Python, and then press tab key on your keyboard. Okay, so press tab key on your keyboard and you will be able to see all the Python related commands which you can run on your terminal. In my case, I can use Python 3 command as you can see, but I also have Python 3.12 installed, so I can use that also. So you can uh, choose one of these command. I'm going to choose Python 3 and then write hyphen M and then write VNV and then the name of your environment. I'm going to name my environment as ENV. This can be anything. You can name it as uh, some folder of some environment. I'm going to name it as ENV. Press enter and it's going to create this virtual environment. When the virtual environment is created, it's going to create this directory with the name of your environment and it contains few uh, directories. To activate this environment, we need to call this activate script, which is under env. To activate our virtual env, we use this command, which is source space, the name of your env folder. It's env in my case, and then bin, and then forward slash activate, and then press enter, and it's going to activate your virtual env. To know if the env virtual env is activated you will see that your env name is printed in front of your command line once virtual env is uh, created we are ready to install the matplotlib package so to install matplotlib just type pip and then once again type the tab command and you will see different uh, pip commands you can use to install the third party pip packages. I have pip, pip3 and pip3.12. I am going to use pip3 because I have used python3 at the top to create the virtual environment and then type install and then type matplotlib. So you just need to type the name of the library which you want to install matplotlib in my case. I'm not writing numpy, uh, my script is using numpy package, but when I install the matplotlib, it comes with the numpy package also. So numpy package will also be installed additionally when I uh, install the matplotlib. So pip install matplotlib, press enter, which is going to install this uh, library and just wait for a few seconds. And once the matplotlib is installed, you can see the squiggly line is gone from the matplotlib and numpy because it has been installed. If you go a little bit up, you will see that uh, it installs several different pip packages for the matplotlib. Once the matplotlib library is installed, I'm going to clear the terminal and then I can run the Python 3 command. So I'm going to just type python3 and the name of the script is test.py you can see and then I'm going to press enter and it's going to run my matplotlib uh, script and you can see it's running 
and you can see the graph is shown here and that's how I know that my uh, program is working fine. So this is how you can install matplotlib on your Visual Studio Code editor on your Mac operating system. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.